Hello and welcome to another uh, video by Jitterbit. In this video, we will uh, provide a quick overview of our Cloud Studio. We will review our uh, Snowflake connector. And finally, we will cover the components of a project that uh, takes data from multiple data sources and easily sends the data to, into Snowflake. What we're going to show today is that how Jitterbit enables for you to take data sitting in FTP, database, Salesforce, and also the ability to call a REST, RESTful API uh, and have Jitterbit take care of taking the data from these sources and put it into Snowflake, uh, Snowflake uh, tables. So let's get started. Uh, this is Jitterbit Harmony Cloud Platform. Uh, in in an easy, easy way to manage all your projects, your APIs, your citizen integrator components, and having the ability to manage all your integrations. Before we get into the project, let me uh, go ahead and actually walk you through Snowflake. Uh, we have a uh, table in Snowflake uh, called contacts. Um, I'm just going to quickly run this just to show you that there's currently no data in there uh, at the moment. Uh, within our platform, we can navigate to our Cloud Studio. This will show all of our projects that we're working on and we have deployed into uh, Jitterbit Harmony. I can navigate to different uh, environments and uh, let me go ahead to one of the environments that I've set up and we're gonna go ahead and actually go to our Snowflake project. On the left-hand side, you see all the different workflows that we have and all the components associated with all the different workflows that we have built. On the right hand side, we have our connectors uh, and anything that we've configured. So as you can see, uh, you have access to many connectors out of the box. You can also design and define your own RESTful connectors as well as I have done with, uh, with one of the SMS services that are available. What we have is we have th uh, four different flows on the, on the middle of the pane. This is where you de de design and define your integrations. One is taking data from uh, Salesforce, I'm sorry, uh, from FTP. We have another flow that takes data from a database. We have a third flow that uh, takes data from Salesforce and puts it into Snowflake. And finally, uh, we have another flow that calls a JSON or a RESTful API that gets the JSON structure and puts it into Snowflake. So we're gonna cover each of those separately. So the first one is FTP. Uh, the FTP, we have a FTP connector that allows us to read data or put data in it. And then once we read the data, we use our Snowflake connector to actually uh, go ahead and process the data. Uh, once that process is done, then we are able to log any type of information we want to gather. So let me first go ahead and kick off this specific uh, operation. Again, we're taking data from an FTP site with a CSV that's residing on our FTP site and then processing it and sending it into Snowflake. And you can see that this was uh, received and uh, in this, it's right now it's a running stage. If we go back to uh, um, our worksheet on in Snowflake and let's go ahead and run this. You can see that we have our data that's residing in, uh, in a flat file in, in a um, FTP site. Before I run the second operation, let me go ahead and actually truncate our data to make sure that there's, again, there's no data initially in our table. Uh, let's go back to our second set of operation, which is taking data from um, a database. In this case, our database is a Postgres database. So let me go ahead and kick that off. Again, we're, we're reading the data from the database, transforming it and sending it into uh, Snowflake using their put operation. And again, this, this has been received by our cloud agents and eventually it's gonna call the appropriate um, operation to actually put it into, sales, into um, uh, Snowflake. So let's go ahead and run this 
query one more time. Now you can see we have a different set of data. There's about, I think, 344 records that came across. Again, this is coming from our database. So let's go ahead and, again, remove the data. Make sure there's no records. Uh, let's, let's go this time, we're gonna go to Salesforce. Again, we're doing a query of Salesforce. There is, a, uh, we did wanna drill into that. So we're querying the contacts. This gives you all the objects in Salesforce and you can pick all the parents and children and all the columns you want. Uh, and then uh, once you have the data, uh, we, we do a little bit of a conversion to take the data from uh, Salesforce and then mapping it to a structure that could be consumed by, uh, by uh, Snowflake. Again, this is all the transformation. We're doing things such as straight mapping, which is you know, going from first name to first name. We have complex structures uh, such as full name, where uh, we're basically concatenating the first name, adding a little space, and then adding the last name to get the full name uh, mapped to the uh, appropriate full name uh, column. So let's go ahead and execute this operation. And uh, while that's going on I, in the log, you can see it's been received and eventually gets into a running and then finish stage. Let's go back to our worksheet and let's go ahead and run this operation. As you can see, we got now information from uh, Salesforce, including uh, the CRM ID. As you can see, uh, these are all unique IDs that are coming straight from Salesforce. Let's go ahead and uh, truncate this one more time, and make sure there are no more records. And finally was getting calling a RESTful API. Uh, the RESTful API that we have here is actually uh, uh, an API that we used to expose data from Salesforce using Jitterbit Harmony. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and look at the endpoint. Again, this is the URL of the API. If we put this and actually make a call, we should be able to get the JSON response back. Uh, this is again data that's coming from Salesforce, but this time we expose it as an API. And uh, we again we go through the same process of of mapping it to a structure that uh, Snowflake can understand, and then we're sending it to uh, Salesforce. I'm sorry, to Snowflake. So let's go ahead and deploy and run this. So again, we're calling the endpoint, the REST endpoint transforming it and then setting it into Snowflake. Again, in the log, we can see that uh, the request was received and uh, eventually it's gonna be processed and the data is gonna be moved. So let's go back to Snowflake and run this one more time. We should get the same data as we did with uh, Salesforce uh, because we got the exact same uh, data, but this time we're calling it an API instead of going directly to Salesforce. As you can see, uh, you can use our connector to get data from any data source in different protocols, whether it's database using JDBC, ODBC, RESTful, or any of our connectors to take data from any of those sources and send it to Snowflake using our Snowflake connector. Thank you for uh, joining us today and see you next time.